Hey, hello. Uh, my name is Dmitri, and I'm one of the trainers in the Slovenian IIT, a nine-day training in nonviolent communication that is going to happen in Slovenia in yeah, less than two weeks. We start in the 22nd of April. And with me is Frank. Hey. <laughs> hey, Dimitri, thank you for inviting me to this, to this call and in particular to this IIT. Um, yeah, short introduction. My name is Frank Gaschler. I'm uh, based in Munich in Germany and I'm a trainer and assessor for the certification process of the CNVC. And I'm really looking forward to this event in Slovenia. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, it's Pring. close. <laughs> Yeah, we just want to shortly talk about uh, about how can this event be nice and inviting for you as well. And we just want to share a couple of information that it's kind of what we are grateful for and what what is about us and how that we came to organize such an event in Slovenia. Yeah. So my first question is, uh, Dimitri, you're organizing, uh, your trainer and organizing the, the whole event. And I'm really curious, why did you, uh, yeah, why did you ask me to join the team? Yeah, good question, Frank. <laughs> yeah, we, we have quite a history and uh, it was one of the first, let's say, nine day events that basically changed my life. And you were a trainer there. And later on, we kind of have a relationship, but I ask you to be my assessor in the process of certification. And yeah, I, I still remember it was an amazing experience with uh, with the whole process. There was so, so much flow and uh, there was also a lot of learning from your side. It kind of, I really experienced this kind of way that we really looked for a solution that maybe worked for both of us and that we're not so much standard one. And yeah, and I completed the, the certification quite, quite soon. And also the, the, I mean, the whole process was really a beautiful experience and mm. yeah that's one of the things and i learned from you a lot so this is one of the reasons that i kind of really would like to to see you in the event and the additional plus is that you are an assessor and that kind of this iits are really something that we would really welcome certification candidate to, to come because they can learn a lot either from the sessions but also from the from you as an assessor being quite for so many years right now and yeah, I guess this is kind of one of the one of the reasons. And I'm, I'm I really value the knowledge that I and experience that I received from you. Thank you, Dimitri. I really enjoyed having you as my candidate. I like <laughs> like my candidate. So it's a bit like having having my baby and and supporting uh, um, really supporting this this uh, yeah through this through this learning and, and uh, developing process. So it's it's not just that I'm the um, I'm the assessor and you're the student and and you have to kind of you you have to follow my rules and when you're good enough then you uh, then you can get the recommendation. It's more that in my understanding it's more that we we, we went a, a path together and um, and yeah, I remember in, in Montelieu in the south of France when we met the first time and how, how, yeah, how things have changed in, in your, in your, um, in your skills and, and in your, your awareness of nonviolent communication through all these times. So I, yeah, so for me, it, it kind of, it is a, like a, it, it closes something, um, and I'm really looking forward to, to see you there as a trainer and uh, so that this can be a kind of a change of, of our relation too. And I'm proud of you, for you. Yay, I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to meet a lot of other people who are candidates or who are thinking about becoming um, a candidate for the certification process. And I'm looking forward to um, yeah, to, to offer a couple of trainings, especially for, for people who are in the process or who want to have feedback on their empathy skills, on their skills, like how to, how to support people in the process, 
how to uh, how to lead uh, a process and how to how to lead and to follow. So it, it's a kind of a uh, and and how yeah it's it's a kind of um, active and passive way and how to distinguish coaching from from empathy and stuff like this. So I love to offer exercises around these things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can imagine this can be quite beneficial to people who are either a therapist or coaches or advisors or stuff like that. And also especially yeah, you know, for people who want to share NBC in any kind of way, in any kind of settings, either for, for people, for couples, for, I don't know, for personnel in hospitals or whatever. So it's kind of, it can be really, really enriching in that, that way. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. And it's also, for me, it's also a nice, nice challenge because this is my first IIT as a full-time trainer. Mm. I have been to several so far and it's like an assistant trainer and I have my own trainings for a couple of days and for weeks that I already did. But like the official IIT, this is my first one and I'm also really excited to, to share. I have a lot of stuff to share, a lot of experiences and how people can learn from, from my path and from my, my knowledge and my stuff as well. So I would really like to welcome as many people as we can we still have some places available, so usually the IITs are quite full. And in this one, based on any occasion that we have, is still really open to, to receive a couple more people. So we are really inviting someone who wants to come just to, to let us know, regardless of their economic and financial status, to, to somehow join us. Yeah, and maybe maybe we can address also one issue that is quite, quite big in Europe right now. And this is a war that is going on. And yeah, I would just like to ask you, how, how do you see at the same time and being in the IIT, learning and enjoying and having a great community. And at the same time, the war is going on in Ukraine. It's not that close. I mean, it's about 2000 kilometers away, but still, how do you see that? As a... mm. um, yeah, this war is really affecting all of us uh, in a way. Uh, probably like all other wars, but this this one is quite close to, um, yeah, to us, to the to to this kind of European situation, to the European culture, and that's why it's affecting us. Um, and yeah, it will be it will be part of this IIT. So it, it's not the idea that we are kind of living in a bubble where uh, where it's just us and and we are going through our throw our stuff and and the rest of the world is outside like sometimes i heard that oh outside there is this jackal world and we are now in this wonderful uh, nvc giraffe bubble um no we are part of this world and um but it's not just that the war is part of this world it's uh uh when i when i follow the the idea of marshall Rosenberg about social change. It's it, it is happening on this on this wide level of uh, inter um, yeah, international relationships, but it's also happening in in smaller in my in my community. It's it's happening in my in the school where my children are in or in the kindergarten. It's happening in the company where I'm working at. Uh, it's happening in my family system. And it's also happening in myself. And when you see all these layers, and this is what we want to address in this IIT, we want to address all the lay all the layers. And um, and my understanding and my, my strong belief is if, if we change something somewhere, it has an effect on all other systems too. Maybe it takes some time. But um, yeah, I would like to address all of those things. How do you so how do you see this? Your yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm always trying to look on, on the best side and what can I do to contribute. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I would say like I was on a 10 day training in Czech when the war started. And there was a lot of discussion on how can we, you know, at one point, how can we be like safe and, and training and have fun and dance and learn. And at the same time, how can we actually see that people are dying in the, in the war? And what I would like to see is that I can contribute whatever I can in whatever situation. So it's kind of, for me, still learning about peace, learning about NVC. So it's kind of how can I contribute to, to be, bring more peace by the way I live and by the way I teach. 
it's uh, something I can do. And if I learn more, I can share more, I can, I can contribute more. At the same time, the war is going on. So I'm not going to take a gun and, and go and mm-hmm. shoot stuff around. It's just what I can do, it's, it's learn and to contribute to, to stuff like that. And also being in community and also having fun, it's also part of that learning. It's also part of me growing and enabling myself to, to just offer more to the, to the world. And I guess that all participants in the, in the IIT will have this, this ability to, to learn more, to gain more strength and, and, and knowledge, just to share peace to the world. So I would really like to see that this is one of the things you can actually do. So you can actually participate in the IIT. You can learn more and share more. And yeah, and actually contribute to, maybe not to, to today, but kind of like 60, 70 people. It's, it's a thing. It's not like, you know, one people just not being able to change anything. So we all together can make a change, can make mm-hmm. a difference. Mm-hmm. But not by being passive, but also one of the ways is also being in an IIT and, and learn and share. The, the passion to nonviolence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. I think one of the scariest things um, <laughs> I see uh, coming together on this IIT is to meet other people. So more than two or three. And like after all these COVID times or after um, <laughs> in this period, in this uh, at that stage of this COVID times, uh, it is for me, I'm, I'm really like curious, how will it be to, to meet uh, so many people in, in one place, so many people from so many different countries. And on the same time, I'm so much longing for having a kind of a healing in terms of um, being able to, to be in a community again, to, to meet people, to, to meet people from like, yeah, from, from all different countries and uh, to get my my system back in this in the trust that other people are not enemies not like dangerous poisoned whatever and um, yeah so this is this is again one of the things i'm really looking forward to 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 be back in community to trust in humanity yeah that's the main thing yeah, it's for me. It's also important that kind of this community part in these events. It's, uh, I would say, as much important for me as also the sessions offered by trainers and others. So, yeah, I'm also enjoying to see to see people being together, to see people dance, move together, using a lot of the embodiment. So it's kind of yeah, for me, it's also an exciting event to see so many people, and it's also kind of adding to NVC as an as a great add-on. It, it yeah. But I would I would say that I value like peer to peer learning and as much as as the sessions that we are going to offer. Mm. Mm. So should we welcome people to to join us? We have like eight places I think still open. So if someone sees some value in it and wants to join us in last minute, are more than welcome. Yeah. Oh, one thing I would like to 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 share is that sometimes I hear that people are, are hesitating to come to an IIT um, because of their English, because they say, oh, I'm not sure my English is not perfect. And um, so I really would like to support people coming because uh, you and I, we are not we are not native speakers. And of course, you can hear this. And at the same time, um, I the most people who will be at this IIT are not uh, mother tongue English speaking people. They are like they, they are giving the best. And what I love is that if you're if it's not your language, you are people are kind of having shorter sentences, easier sentences. And the message is uh, yeah, they, they are much, sometimes I think they are much more talking from the heart. And it was such a fantastic learning for me. The, my first IIT, I've been to Belgium in 2005. And when I went there, I realized, oh my gosh, I, I go to Belgium and they are speaking French, at least at that part where I'm going to. And I, I don't speak any French. 
So I was like, uh oh, this will be nine funny days for me. And uh, of course, Marshall was speaking English, so I I knew that it was translated and stuff. But you know, when you when you're talking to people, it's not that easy then. But um, my biggest learning at that IIT was that um, I do not have to understand each word. I do not have to understand the whole story. I, it was much more learning for me to understand the the feelings and the needs in between, and that was my kind of my key to uh, one of my keys to to go to uh, NBC with children because you you don't understand them they are they have they have a different language sometimes or they have no language but you can understand if you don't listen to all this blah 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 and so I really want to encourage people to just to come and learn and, and trust that their English will be definitely en enough to understand and to be understood yeah that's, that's why it's called the language of life yeah it's kind of just sensing the energy of the people it's not necessarily in the words yes yeah, thank you for sharing that okay any last words before we close it just come come you're welcome <laughs> yeah you're welcome and you'll definitely get the experience you will never forget in your life so Thank you, Frank, for, for being with me and see you soon in Slovenia, in IIT. Thank you, Dmitri. And yes, I'm looking forward to you, to see you and to celebrate with you. <laughs>